All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to check your email and also to set up your email accounts uh, for your domain name as well as check them online. So in your setup, you should have received a setup email uh, from us with your uh, cPanel area as well as your username and password. So for ours, we're going to go, uh, we're going to use this uh, domain, use mygroup.com slash cPanel. You should have this in your setup area. Now mine let mine me write in, but yours would look like this where you enter your username and password. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and put in my username and password as you should yours. And now we get in here. Okay, now in this area, you're not really gonna use anything with this with your e-commerce website. This is just really your hosting account manager. There's all kinds of things in here that pertain to all kinds of different businesses and servers and programs and things that, that people use. Um, if you have an e-commerce shop using PrestaShop or one of our free shops, uh, you won't be using any of this stuff. The only thing you'll be really messing with is this area right here in the mail. Okay, so in here you can go to email accounts, and here is where you can set up up to 100 email accounts. And in here is your email. You can go, uh, let's say we're going to do, uh, I'll put my name Andrew, and that's all I got to type is just my name because this part's right here. So, and I'll put my password, and then uh, 250 megabytes means when I hit 250 megabytes of mail, it's going to cut me off. So, it keeps you deleting stuff. If you want to have one that's just unlimited, that just keeps storing your mail, you can go unlimited. Okay? For me, I'm going to go 250 megabytes. I'm going to go ahead and uh, you can also click this password generator. It'll make you one, but uh, I usually like to make my own. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and create the account. Okay? So, now I got my account created. Okay, and here over here, you can do all kinds of cool things like change your password, your quota, and then more. Like you could come in here and access your webmail. Okay, but a really cool part of checking your mail is if you just come up here to the top, and I'm going to go use mygroup.com slash webmail. Okay, just like that. I'm going to type in webmail after. So you put in your domain.com slash webmail after you create your account. So I'm going to go there and a the username and password pops up. So for the username, I'm going to put in my full email, andrew at usemygroup.com, and then the password I made up for that email. So anybody that has an email with your website, everybody goes to the same place. How they're directed is by what username and password they put in, which is their email and their password for their email. Okay, so I'm going to click OK. I'll remember that. And then I'm coming through here to these three different mail programs. Honestly, they're all great. Uh, a lot of people ask me which one I prefer. I usually use Horde, but Brown Cube's cool, Squirrel's Mail cool. They're, they're all great programs. For mine, I'll click on the Horde. And I'll click this login right here. And once I do that, I come into this area here. And I click on the Mail over here. And I have no messages in my inbox. So messages will come right in here. I can hit this refresh button right here. If I want to send an email, I can click this new message. And here we go. I can type in to whoever I want, you know, and just like Gmail or Yahoo or Hotmail or whatever uh, online mail you've used, same kind of situation. It's just it's on your name and your server. So if you're on the road or anywhere, you can always log into this, send email, check email, and it all comes from your email address. Okay, um, on the other end of it, there's some other mail functions that I wanted to show you. So I go back into the cPanel here. Um, we've got, here's your webmail icon. You can get to webmail by logging in here and doing this too, but I find it easier to just type into the domain webmail up here, up here. But you got spam assassin. So this is something that's not enabled on here yet, but I will. What I want to do, spam assassin will look for emails that, that they flag as spam. And they'll delete them or they'll move them into a junk file. And this really helps because once your website gets out there and people start putting like search robots and start start going and trying to harvest emails and stuff to, to spam you, you're going to get more and more. So this program will help to find those, those emails coming in and just get rid of them so you don't even see them. So you, you, let's say I enable Spam Assassin here. Okay, here we go. It's enabled. So I go back. And then here we go. So I can filter it. Now... Five is pretty much normal. If I really want to turn up the settings to be real conservative, I can turn this up to like nine. You know, I click auto delete spam. Okay. Or I can disable that and have it just go into like a folder, like a spam box. 
So I want that to happen. I come down here and I enable my spam box. Now my spam box is enabled, so now I'll have a spam box and I can clear it whenever or whatnot. And then there's also a configure spam assassin and you can blacklist different people, um, you know, that you don't want emails to shoot at you. I mean, if you come in here and read, there's all kinds of different. This gets pretty technical in here, though. I found that if you just enable the spam assassin, uh, it, it pretty much works pretty good. Um, anyway, um, I'm going to go back here. Oh, man, I got to get back out of here to the. Here we go to um, now we got forwarders. So let's say uh, you have an email that's like you're comfortable with your name at yahoo.com and you've been checking that email forever and you don't want to have to check 15 different emails. You can say, okay, I want to add a forwarder. I want to say Andrew at usemygroup.com and I want it to go to Andrew at yahoo.com instead. So now I could click that add forwarder. Now this, anybody that emails this email will automatically, that email will go to my regular one, my cell phone email, whatever I want that to be. So I do that, I click the add forwarder, and there we go. Here's my one forwarder. This one goes to this one. So pretty simple. Um, I better get rid of that because I don't have that email. <laughs> so I'll delete that there. And that's pretty much uh, all the stuff with the email. You got autoresponders if you want like a message to go back to somebody every time they email. You could do that and, and all kinds of other cool things that, that are a little bit more technical to get into. But um, for the most part, that's how you set up an email, check it, and set up a forwarder on your, uh, on your system. Uh, and again, any questions you have, you can always uh, contact us or email us. And uh, I hope this helped you. Thank you.